So I can start with my intro. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. Whatever. Okay. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Camilla. This will be nice, I'm telling you. Watch. <laughs> this is gonna go well, I'm telling you. My Pantula Ravi, William Sagat. I am some sort of Indian who's a rubber family. Correct? Eta Tavate? Ah, no friend. Ah, Dolly Man Dolly. So, Raga. Can we just put it out there as well as a big man? <laughs> He's a big man. No, yeah. guys, um, as you can see, like things have, um, have changed. Tanuli Ravi, as you know, is uh, back in action. Yeah. So, we're here to celebrate the life of Ramek. Hey, boy. Yeah. Pressure is on, most yeah. chance. No, actually, right. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, did you watch the game? Yeah, I did. Uh, the box. Mm -hmm. Or oh, which one? Um, Obviously. Yeah, there the were box, quite yeah. a few, but maybe yeah. probably the box. Yeah, you know, we have to. Uh, I mean, I had to watch because, I mean, let's be honest, guys. It's been about what? More than two years. We've been really waiting for them just to see them play and all that stuff. So, the box are back. So, it was quite interesting to see the selection as well. But you know what I mean? Uh, when you look at uh, the box coming back each and every year, my interest is always looking at the guys that have done well locally and try and see them coming up. I mean, we all know now. So you must have been so happy. Fuck, man. All these lighties, you know, I see, you know, they've included this one on the squad. They've included this one. Because let's be honest there. Uh, the guys that have won this uh, World Cup about a couple of years back, we don't want to see them again, Next brother. Year, let's be honest. you so you got to have one or two oats that will be there. Uh, you know, for the next World Cup. I mean, so I was quite happy just to see all the youngsters just coming in. Although I don't think it is some of them uh, that are picked uh, the likes of or, or, or no yeah, harm. Uh, he's not going to be you? able to play personally. That's my personal thing. But he's probably there purely because, you know, they're just trying yeah. to, you know, mm -hmm. get him into the system. Same as this other boy, Loala, Eder Kasi, uh, Usmelane. I mean, everyone was like, no, Usmelane next yes, week. I was like, hey, dude, whoa, 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 whoa. It's not, it's, 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 we've got our outside center, you know, Ulukanyo M. He might be the guys, you know, that we'll be probably seeing just to uh, Urasi, Abadlala. I always say Rasi because I really still think that Rasi is the main Michelle. guy. But, I, but anyway, you know, it was just good to see the guys just getting a blowout for such a long time. And then, uh, Coach Mac, and this, this will start us off on yeah. how this is going to run. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to talk a, lo a lot about about your history. Yeah. And yeah. we're going to celebrate that. Yeah. But at the same time, uh, I think where Zola was going to Luti, you must have been happy to to see, and we're not going to beat around the bush, Luti, how <laughs> rugby has changed in terms of Luti, the number of uh, black players. Oh, Luti, yeah. <laughs> and at the same time, and, and I'll start, and we touched on it just before the show, which I remember a game that you played with Louis Green. Uh, it was an Australian game for the Cats. Hey, and dude. 12, and Louis Green was your 10. He was and a 10. <laughs> so Louis Green is actually involved in SA Rugby, I'll say. No, he's not. But days like that, uh, and I want to honor, honor, honor ask the first question, which is where, where did it start? Yeah, look, um, you know, in those days, it, uh, it was getting, it was a little bit better then. I mean, we can even go a little bit backwards. Yeah, because that's where I want to. Actually, I want to. Like, I want to go back. I want to go back from '95. We just won the World Cup. <laughs> when I was at it. Dude, um, hey, my daughter, we won't see me. But anyway, I'll, just a typical story. I mean, I was a guy from Ekas, you know, so where to? I grew up in so where to? At uh, I was studying at a school called uh, Jablani Technical yeah, yeah. School. So yeah. Jablani Technical School is a typical. I mean, those years, it was this scale that was fairly, quite a little bit organized. Mm -hmm. I remember it was Jablani Technical High School, plus there was a school called Pace. Okay. Yeah, so those schools that were well run. I guess my dad took me there because he really wanted me, you know, to go a little bit further, and I didn't, obviously. So, um, <clears throat> technical school, this is where we're at. Um, there were some few Afrikaans, uh, you know, teachers. teachers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the motor mechanic, the fitting and turning, and da da da, and all that stuff. So, you know, it was a typical school, like us, we were playing soccer, and then one day, guys, one day, the principal, Van Staden, I remember his name, we were sitting at a nice, um, you know, assembly, and the principal just announced that, okay, guys, we're going to be starting rugby at this school. Jesus, fuck, yeah, I was right at the back with my chummies, yeah. corruptest ever, we caused chaos, we laughed, I was like, ah, what the fuck, you know, you know, you know, you know, 
those years, I think if I go a little bit back, um, it was the time of Abu Abu, Abu Dr. Kumaru playing soccer at a, in the at eight, a school. In the 80s or yeah, Abu Matsike, yeah. you know, and all that yeah. stuff, you know. When she was cheese. Dude, those years, it was like soccer, nothing else. And then we're like, this guy, what is he talking about? Mm. You know, we laughed and all that stuff. Because I think um, our school then, we were fairly quite okay. Mm. I was all, I was all high. They, they used to beat us, but we were competing, you know. I was, I was playing soccer. So our aim was to try and, 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 and win Izochazem, basically, if you understand yeah, what I'm trying to say. And then, you know, obviously it was a big joke with my chummies. We went in, so we were just a mess, folks. I'll, I'll, I'll be very honest with you. And then after like uh, two months, um, I've heard as all that, no, Amachita, they were playing, you know, they were just, they've actually started this rugby thing just behind, um, you know, I'm, um, what do you call these things? That I'm, I'm fitting and turning and all that stuff. And then I was like, hey, maybe let me go and have a look. So I went in there and then I watched and then I was like, hey man, I really like this thing. I think not to Luckily, you know, the, 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 the coach, the teacher, an African teacher was actually, he saw me, he said, do you want to join? He said, yeah, why not? Straight from there, they put me on the flank. I didn't even know what the fuck was I doing. I put in there and then we played and played. And then, Jesus, after that first thing, first time touching the ball, dude, I fell in love with this thing, man. Immediately, I just really just fell in love with this thing. I was like, Jesus, this game is so nice. And then, even the following day, I was there and da-da-da. And then, the... You, you can imagine those years as a kid, if you're starting something new for the first time ever. I mean, this is the first experience. And then straight after that, on the weekend, I was looking at the channels now right. on TV. <laughs> Once again, I was not even quite sure exactly what was happening. All I was noticing those years on TV, I'm sure you guys will know, the big fucking numbers of the rugby, you know, numbers right at the back of the players. Yeah. And then I'm a number corner. I've seen I'm a number six. I want to join your soccer. Yeah. I'm a soccer number six. I'm a number 15. Yeah. Number get 10. the big number 10, the big number nine, and with their hard jerseys yeah. and all that stuff. I think this is where it really started. I think straight from there, I mean, we grew up as Amachita, guys that used to play soccer. We grew up as a as, as a family. Mm-hmm. We, we started blooming together. HR Band Technical, Amachita Ravi. Uh, we started to be naughty together. We started to rule the school. We started to take over from the tuck shop. We started to take over almost everything. And um, But I think what really just uh, sticks with me or stuck with me then, hey, gents, this game, rugby game, it's so amazing. Even now, the guys that I used to be with at Jablan Technical, we're still in, t- in touch now. Mm-hmm. So we've gone in there, being a family, until now. Some of them, obviously, have passed away and all that stuff. But uh, it's just a song, okay, guys. Tell me about that story, like. Yeah. Obviously, when you started playing, yeah, um, the first practice they put you a flag because you're probably the biggest guy. I and think I was. Yeah. <laughs> and then tell us the story when somebody got in, when you started playing back up. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. So I mean, it's it, uh, dude. I think within two months playing rugby, they started making me a captain. You know, yeah. I was like, okay, fine, I don't mind. I mean, Binage, I was just one of those guys that really liked the ball. So I think one of our biggest problems was like. We don't kick the ball. That's Salkatheli Pola Machita. Best Kunwan Jama Machita. Besil Bamba, that's Trapa, that's Sas, Pasanin, and all that stuff. So, yeah, and then it happened that um, we had two teams at Chablan Technical. We had a senior team. I think Tina we were still under 15. Yeah. We we're still kids, man. You know, mm-hmm. we still under 15. But we had more of like a senior team. Abantabakadi, yeah. you know, Eddie before us. Amakot Manenyana Seske, that they were doing, you know, standard 9 and 10. I think Tina was still doing standard 7 or so and all that stuff. So we went on to a tournament so a mine somewhere up and I says whatever deep. Hey guys. <laughs> so we got there onto some flipping tournament, playing the Mahot Mana say mine as out as the So one of our guys, after our, our game playing under 15, obviously we're sitting there. I mean, always we'll say touch judge. I was there just trying to be a touch judge. I was a touch judge basically that day uh, for Amachita. And then all of a sudden one of our guys actually got injured. And um, the coach just probably looked at the closest guy. They said, hey, Baba, we are I was like, what? No way. Fullback said, yes. Gena, Baba. The, the, it was history. So I, I, I started playing fullback uh, for the senior team. And then slowly but surely, you know, I started talking to the coach and said, look, my man, I'm fit. I'm fit. I'm fit. I'm fit. So basically, Tina Baba, we, we did our own coaching, our own development, our own convincing of the guys bringing through. And then that's where I really just ended up really just playing fullback. So I played fullback all the way until I got to Eskele Seingamba. 
Yeah. Okay. How, how did that happen? Yeah. Where, who, yeah. Where, Look, where, um, where were you guys playing? Who, who came down and started knocking down the road? Yeah. Um, me going further, leaving Chablani, Ekasi, it was uh, quite a bizarre thing because we were playing as Iskele, you know, at Chablani Technical. Mm-hmm. So, we, we all know each other and all that stuff. But most of the time, when we were not even aware that, you know, there were even bigger honors where you can yeah. play Craven Week and all that stuff. Now, guys, we're just playing just to have fun. All we needed was to go out there and hurt people and have fun. And after that, we used to get food. They used to give us food, you know, not alcohol as such. But mm-hmm. And now you can imagine, as in Dwayne Aseka, so you're playing a sport, all of a sudden, you get some chow and all that stuff. You know what I mean? You guys... And had a gassy, figure a bassy, young Tora singing a bassin, it was gamma pecking. Dude, it was just something that was so big to such an extent that everyone wanted just to play rugby. So going um, to St. John's uh, was that uh, I got invited. Was it just you that actually got invited? Yes. Um, Great chef. Yeah, Yeah, I'm a former. (laughs) From four. Yeah. I was actually joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> okay. So um, going there, um, I got invited to go play for trials. Uh, they were saying they were trials. We asked the cousin Robert and the guys, back yeah. and Jim you need to get to this school. Which school? Where? What's happening? They know you guys are playing trials. For what? I know, you know, there's some this selection team that is happening and all that stuff. Da, 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 da. Hey, never fit. You know? So make this also because this is very important. So yeah. back to Ella Eskele. Yeah. Obviously there's um there's trials in Joburg. Yes. If you are now. The problem is that it says that uh yeah better spy. I so obviously um when they were talking about trials and then they started saying, Okay, fine, uh, you need to get there. So luckily there was a guy shame, you know, Mr. Sambo really just passed away. We, we used to call him a coach, but uh, he was a guy that was looking after his sport. Echablani technical as a whole. So he was quite managing us in a way because you know, we really used to coach us our, mm-hmm. ourselves. Began at Transignana, Frusa, Shai Trans, Sayada, and I got there, him and Gosan. Ngamla Zotel, what the fuck? Him and Gosan. Meeting Pegagungam, Larava St. John's, this is missing Gamla. I was born in Samai, Katama, Eskela Street. It's Nand. I want to skin of those kids as well. Fuck, they were clothes. I'm mm-hmm. thinking. Hey, I would talk about who you know what I mean? No, I'm going to hate. I said, hi. I was like, hey, my daughter. Come on. I was like, hey, what am I going to say? I'm going to say this. I'm going to talk about me. My name is Oscar. I'm going to talk me. I'm sure not too many people will remember. There used to be a, a Cox called Patrick. Okay, Patrick yeah. Two Stripes. I'm going to talk about as a background player. Yellow, white. Yellow, baba. Yellow, he started. Yes. Talking to Zami. I'm going to talk about Zami. I'm going to talk about Zami. Ah, sadal. Ah, sadala, sadala, sadala. But you know how it's like in these trials. I've been to many, you know. Fuck, if you're a black person, they'll fucking skip you, bro. Mm. Or they'll create a move not to you just to get the ball because all these other white guys, you know, they, you get the guys from, two guys from Monas. I mean, if you are a wing ball, for instance, you'll, you'll get two wings from Monas. They're playing a combination. So if you are a fullback or, 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 or you're not going to fucking get the ball. You've got to go out there and fucking go get it yourself, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm trying to say. So, and uh, for me, I really didn't care because all I wanted was just to get the fucking board and play. Mm-hmm. You know, I just need, I wanted just to enjoy myself. And then apparently it happened that I took out to one of the biggest star players at St. John's. You know, his name is Kevin Holstein. So we ended up being friends right, anyway. Okay, yeah. After that, he came in, he was a huge fucking wing. Mm-hmm. Jesus. So I mean, he played your wing now? For, for some reason, he came onto my line. They did one of these silly moves, you know, yeah. the dummy scissor yeah. Kevin, pop in. Yeah, he yeah, he came in at pace. Ah, number seven, Vali, Nyao, Baba, Nayaga, Njegu, yeah, ay. Zawa, Baba. They took him out. Okay, fine. They took him out. They stopped the game and all that stuff. After that, you know, um, we left. You know, Nafaya and I St. John's. The following day, I got a call from these two guys, from the St. John's guys, the white guys again. Hey, how's it? How's it? How's it? Fine. Uh, we saw and saw. How could you mean to we'd like you just to come to our school. Mm-hmm. Come to your school doing what? No, you gotta come. That time I was actually doing standard 10. It was my last year mm-hmm. at, uh, at uh, Chablan, finishing, concentrating on the metric and all that stuff. And I was like, I'm going 
hamba mina is get and I'll tell him a cheat. I song. You know how it's like. We, we, we a team. Any, everything that happened there. We are awesome. We don't fit. We are far away. No man. Hey guys. Nice situation. Manjin team. In in. But luckily, 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 I actually told my father. We tell you know what. I'm for another one. Double ganja, 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 ganja. You know, sometimes guys, I think it's very important to to have you know uh, a father that will really just guide you to the. Um, you know, the right way. Because my dad just didn't really argue with me. He said, Antoine, you don't have a choice. You're actually going. I was like, but because this is my last year. I said, no, no, no. It doesn't matter. You are going to go there because, trust me, this is probably going to be the best opportunity there. Yes, now, yeah, I'm, I, I'm a kid. I don't see this opportunity that I'm seeing because all I wanted was to chill with my friends, play my rugby, and pass my metric. So this is when, now, this is maybe six and seven. Hey, man, you're revealing my age. No, 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 no. That was far away, man. That no, was a long time ago. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so when yeah. you get to your CS, <clears throat> St. John's, um, yeah. do you do that whole thing? Because everywhere you, you think it, we get to Dale Sells and yeah. take you back to St. John's. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, um, actually, you know, the, the story was, was like, you know, I was going to get there and do like the sixth form. Okay. Mm-hmm. Post metric. Yeah. Didn't even know what was that. Guys, you guys, you guys don't even idea. Guys, it's in Thomas Shincha, like within a couple of minutes and a couple about? of days and all that stuff. And we so, won. Navu. But in Vuma, I'm trying to grow up. I'm going to grow up because time and I'm going to go up and I'm going to go up and I'm going to go Dude, you're going to go there. Ah, so far, I'm going to accept it. Then I went in there. When I got in there, uh, two, three, four, five first classes, but I, but I, 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 I know. I'm going to go up and I'm going to go up. You know, you gotta really start all the way from standard nine. You know, I went in, dude, it's fine. Go on, you know, go on for it, you know. But Nande, go do it and just all that stuff. So eventually, I actually just accepted all that stuff. But now, this is the tricky thing. So when I got there, I was born again in Tonadez, I was born again in Tonadez, I was born again you know, actually, one of my so first experiences. Ad- 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 yeah, yes, yeah. yes, I was a dress because they told me that no, okay. you got to be a dress sure. and all that stuff. So, nam nia swagala la pana nama peka mi bang chere bang chumele zinjo got a blaze and guys and fagen a jacket. Guys, you can imagine that shit. Eh? Yeah. With the time, naza and all that stuff. I got in there, bang bonsi rumla mi. I first thing that I realized that he was taking a hard ride. Mm. Okay. Why oh, am I taking a hard ride? Okay. Imagine that. <laughs> But now, more shall standard nine. When I have standard ten. Okay, sharp. I'm game. Lucky the man getting a room in a man. I bumped into Owen Kumando. Sure. He's been there for how long? Oh, he's caught Kumas. I'm born and I was super sport. It's no more because Kumanga Makala. Dude, you're frost on away. Push on me. I'm your car. I'm also out here. Where Damn. Yeah. Oh, Owen is from Soweto, a protea, a cat. So, I'm going to find out that Owen actually used to study a primary, standard three. Yeah. And we didn't even know where he was. I'm told him to say, Sing, I'm laying fat cat, out here. How is who I don't What's happening here, dude? No, 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 it's great. And I know to see you. I was like, hey, Ace, how's things? You know, I was more happy to see another brother, yeah. someone that I know, because I couldn't identify myself with all the other niggas there. You mm. know, brothers, they were there, but I could tell with my there's a disconnection. By, you know what I mean? And all that stuff. Mm. I mean, the first incident where I realized with yeah, says, this is a different world. Exceed the following day, Dababa, Nifuswang is Kati, and made any shower at a certain time. Because at that certain time, any pool, me, I'm a metric, me, there's a one. So basically, we won't warm up the showers for them. I was yeah. like, pan, hey, all right, sharp. Ah, I was like, I'm going to put it in the middle of the day. Nah, I'm going to put it in the But anyway, I was like, okay, fine, you know, hierarchy and all that stuff. We got in there. So, man, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going Remember, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going Eta, 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 machita. Nya khrunta. Nya ngezu tinti. Wala chance. Ah, zira. Zatila zangpe. Okay. Aba fetu wala nungzwile. Hi, how are you? How are you? 
this is where I realized what I have a again. You know, this is another word. Oh, no one can have a shiny shower. I mean, you know, ah, Song was owing the ace. Can't you come by any other? I would have a good idea. I must go away now, my darling. Hey, you'll never understand. You know, we'll talk about this thing some other time. I said, Dude, I want you to come by any other. Well, well, you know, obviously the rugby season started and da da da. You know, I enjoyed myself there at St. John's, but I had to take almost all the subjects to extra classes. Okay. Because um, Ekas when I in Afrikaans, I had to do Afrikaans there, the second okay. language. Yeah. I, knew I, was, I didn't do geography, maths I didn't do. Mm-hmm. So I literally, my life was like scale, classwork, after that extra class, practice, even on weekends. It was, it, was, it was quite intense because I had to try and upgrade myself as much as I can because I was going to fail, you know what I mean? And you know, it's like, when you fail, you're going to lose the sponsorship yeah, and all that stuff. But I mean, you know, the time yeah. I had fucking pressure, guys, and all that stuff. But I mean, one thing that really, you know, uh, opened up my eyes there was like, we had coaches there, we had fitness guys, we had physios, things that we, I, I didn't know that they exist. I mean, we had pre-match meal and all that stuff. So for me, it was like an, an eye-opener, which you know what? And um, this was it. So that's how I really just got to St. John's. And I mean, guys, I had my best time ever. And then I still say now to my, 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 my kid, you know, my kid and I, we went to, to Kays and all that stuff. And I still say that, you know what, dude, um, the relationships that you're going to make at school, at high school, don't lose them. You look around, yeah. You don't lose them because uh, you never know what uh, can happen. I mean, like now I'm hustling out there. I'm trying to do all the businesses. Mm. But I meet the guys that we had school at St. John's and they're fucking billionaires, bro. And then we try to connect with them. We try to make a little bit of something. But mm. you can tell that this is the life to go. Mm-hmm. So it was my best time ever at school. It so, was so great. It was so just great. Just want to go back to yeah. when, uh, during that time. Here. So obviously now um, you have to do St. John's. Yeah. Uh, in Kela. You have to go back to your cast. Nenga. So. Nenga. So. 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 Nenga. So. 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 But I used more boy as a class. Eh, to me, I just had a, a, quite a tricky life. A class, it was a totally you different to, you story. Have to come back again to yourself. Because, uh, yeah, you, yeah, you had to adjust. Man, a class, you can share my place. Man, is a, you pass. When Tatan Fagge Pekini, man, is a class, you can share it. You can tell her, and then you can share and all that stuff. So the trick was that all the time when I had to probably just wash your jersey, you yeah. know, training jersey, being a nigger, you know, being a nigger, because it was taboo, a class. Yeah. To see this big rugby chase on the fence, about Michael and Nini Alzaco. So <laughs> it was quite hectic and plus to now such an extent. Cool. And now, man, we are cooler. Hey, in fact, <coughs> I can't do that. I mean, imagine getting three meals a day, dude. And then on top of those three meals, there's tea time where you can have some tea, and about 10, and then before supper, and about three again, you get fed. Dude, it was just for the boarding house, for the life of Chita, a boarding house. Hell, I couldn't really miss it to such an extent that sometimes when the schools were closed, I never used to go guys. Bring into an at some thing. Yeah, we used to, to go with them, see my and then and go chill there. Mm-hmm. Once again, that good life, Ish. the life that I didn't know, you know, life comfortable that was there. So yeah, man, I mean, life was great and um, some very good learnings as well. And then it was just an eye opener for me. Which Jesus, guys, there's another world that is existing out there that. A lot of people don't know about Basikas. Mm. Because when you tell about Basikas with this line, I'm not going to go to the house. 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 I'm not this is how trans is scared. How can you? Because I'm telling you. Our first time, Tina, we went to go play against State. We did the guys we were playing against. And I'm a to our party. Dude. And you can't explain that to The car that even your father can't afford, oh, dude. Now I didn't understand this. I'm thinking, can't you have that? I life not have any that. I don't have any that. I don't have any of that. Okay. No, no, no. So, so Coach Mike, um, moving from e high school life. Yeah. Me, I'm guessing crazy me. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So what yeah. is the transition in terms of your team? So obviously it's crazy me. Then back then you'd still get your under nineteens, under twenties. Yes, yes. What is the transition between moving from St. John's 
then so yeah manje yeah. after high school or so, okay. before that <laughs> before, before you answer that yeah so everybody knows during that time yeah. when you after after high school yeah acdc came up yeah 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 so um, how did you how did you how, 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 how did you manage to so and yeah, also get it's, it's, and also again with because we can tell by time I was very involved. No, in straight, straight, in your life, straight, in your life. So straight, yeah. And then my but you see now, the, the funny part now, now he's old. I'm the one who's tuning in. What did you do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in a nice way, you know. It's like, yeah. you like sit there and it's like, oh, yeah, so, well, it's like, I'm with Senzei and I'm going to be a nice guy. Life is funny. Oh, so, I mean, this is the guy that, I mean, I used to look up to, but oh. now... He's, 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 the guy, he's the guy that looks I up think, to me. Yeah. Like, so, you know, now yeah. I make the decision, then I tune him, then he says, okay, cool, let's go on. But anyway, yeah, look, um, after St. John's, obviously, you know, um, the funny part was like, you know, when you're there, uh, once again, I had some few connections at, uh, at St. John's. Some of the old boys were working at the bank. You know, there used to be a bank called NBS. Do you yes, guys know Natal that bank? bank. It was Natal yellow. Bank, it yeah. was yellow. Yeah. So yeah. after it's KLM, yeah. Um, they were like to me, no, no, it's fine. You must come work and all that stuff. But I was not quite interested. I mean, that same year, St. John's toured to New Zealand and Australia. Oh, what? Fuck, bro. That's life. <laughs> High school. I've been to New Zealand, you know, a couple of times. But the first time I was with St. John's. Yeah. So on the plane to, uh, to um, overseas, yeah. uh, I bumped into Khairi. Um, you know, that big wing and all that stuff. So once again, I recognize him because uh, straight after that, you know, one thing that I do a lot, I go all the way back and look at the players, their history and, yeah. and all that stuff. Who's this guy? Who is this? I bumped into Kheri, you know, Kheri. Kheri says, I'm thinking, I'm man. I'm, I'm your last leg. The time I've yeah. seen him, you know, with all these tries and all that stuff. So I'm your guys. You know, like I'm in Tuana Sekasi. Hello, how are you, fan? He said, yeah, how are you, fan? So he started chatting to me. Where are you going? He said, no, we're going, you know, at, uh, you know, as a team at St. John's and all that stuff. He just actually just gave me his number. He said, look, um, if you want to continue yours, TWR, you know, yeah. you must actually come at the TWR. But luckily, I actually kept his number. So after matric, I worked for like a month. A bank, Bruami, oh, I know. I like to know what I saw when I was at Elvis Port. A bank, you know, when I got there, they had their own fucking issues already, you know. So here am I, I'm a young guy, I'm looking at these guys, let department you and let department you and they were like, no, it's fine, when are you going to be the next best thing, you know, we'll take you through all the yeah. compartments at, 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 at the bank, you know, you end up being the bank manager and all that cuck, and then I was sitting there listening to these guys, da da da, and all that stuff, you know, there's loan departments, there's this, there's mm. this. You know, they were taking me through all these the, things. Yeah. But someone else, obviously, from St. John's thought maybe I could work. Yeah. Fine, you know. Namibia I needed the new guru. And then the other thing that was pushing me, I was like, no, I got to help my parents. Sure. You know, as black <laughs> person, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. You know, because I thought, fuck, you know, I know it's time I just struggle with Andrew. Maybe it's your span. You know, Andrew, you need to grand and all that stuff. Uh, Baba, I worked only for a month. And until today, I didn't even tell them when... Why am I going? Why in Vaile? I just waited for that last for, for that first payment of the month. It ain't you get my gain a bank for that first month. I never came back. I never went back there. Mm -hmm. Then I called Kheri Erasmus because it was still January then. Yeah. Uh, um Kheri, how are you fan? Uh, I would like to study. Um Kheri says, no, come in, register at TWR then. Yeah. I came in, I registered the following day, two weeks down the line, boom, I was in class. And then this is where now I found myself. Uh, moving from the schoolboy rugby, you know, to play university rugby. Those years then, I mean, the rugby, there was RAU, there was TWR. I mean, those were like basically the strongest, strongest club, club then. Club and uh, there were rivalries, yeah. da, da, da and all that stuff. But I really en enjoyed TWR uh, because um, I think for that specific year, they recruited very well. I mean, we had some very good so guys. Good, yeah. I mean, um, um, Proli Hute was there, Spaluak. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he was a wing. Now, um, when I was a man, yo, could missing got me fucked up. Now, being a man, just stay in the night until 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 the day. Yabo, yabo, born in the night in Donald. Then, could missing got me. I'm trying to African skin. I'm trying to move. Yabo, now you born in the night. My mom kai pola. We are hamba. Hey, chawa ya ke. Being um, tender that I did with mom kai pola. I began from siblings. Anyway. You know, I started being friends with him. But once again, they, if you're looking at um, the numbers of the black people that used to play rugby there, 
and there was about two of us or three of us there. And uh, it was so great as well just to once again to have another Udaki. Yeah. So, See, but the nice thing about Upro is that Masirina, being a Muzu Kuna Niti Proof, I was warming up. Yeah. Okay. I'm just like, I said, Proof Nyayazi, you know. Nyamuzu Kutu Ngeni Mondo, Mondo, it's like the south side. Yeah. And Yabo Isis Kuduman is Sutu. So it was actually just quite great just to, you know, get someone else on the same level. So we were the crop that came straight up to Yuga, not up there. Yeah. Yuga. Way up. Way up. Way up. Yeah. Way up. Yeah. yeah. But Tina, you know, we also got lost into the system where we thought Tina is there to play with us. Play. Yeah. We didn't, we weren't worried what our parents were doing at home. Yeah. We weren't um, worried about other things. We just focused on the game. Yeah. But then what, if we look it into your lap, mm. if from the Eastern Cape we didn't have the SPG Yeah. I yeah. only picked it up now, but uh, while I've when I saw you on SABC One, yeah, I didn't know Same already time. you were playing. You were playing with us. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah you know, so it's yeah. yeah, you you were playing with us. So I get you. I get yeah. you. <laughs> you know, it's I start seeing them. I'm like, hi, bro. Yeah, yeah. Can I tell? Can I tell? Yeah. 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 So, so, so I'll so, tell you a funny story yeah, about this, yeah, but yeah, you yeah, continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so also again, also again, we missed out on a lot of opportunities yeah. in terms of like, yeah. us for that. For that ten days, yeah, you know all we did. But if we don't, if we're not playing, we're just gonna chill and and yeah. not be focused on. Yeah. on that. Do you know when we started with? Dude, I was actually doing two jobs then. You know, that time I was working at Edgar's. But, but anyway, tell anyway. <laughs> so so back then, so I used to follow. Uh, I used to follow back then because the bug hit you, and probably in Boxburg. Yeah, I went to Convent when he was going up. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, and, yeah. Um, at the tech was yeah. a guy called Ooh, Ketit. Ketit, the hooker. hooker. Yeah. Fuck, he so was he good, was eh? Dude, he was good. He was a good player. He was there, like, Jesus, he was, he was good. He was training, training yeah. black guys that used to go around with the US and them. Yeah. So he was, he was good. That yeah. Ketit was, was good. fucking yeah. good, actually. So he went to the anyway, US. Anyway, are we allowed to swear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're allowed to drink, you're allowed to swear. So Ketit was our fourth man bait. Yeah. So Just when like he him. went to when he went to varsity, he told me, "Oh, Scorpion, uh, the whole hood knew about him. It's yeah. played Nasa. Like, <laughs> so yeah. like, according to us, he, he was in that World Cup squad. He wasn't, he wasn't <laughs> from Portsmouth, you know. And he was like, so when he went to the Scorpion, oh, now. Yeah. And I think Owen, Owen. So yeah, Owen, oh, Owen, Owen. Actually, now I'm not quite this guy. We they recruit Bam Kujuti as a FTWR. No Lawrence was that. No Lawrence. Was that I, but you wanna get you wanna go scat sabo owen. I be gunzin for my hookers. Ah, be she saba be she saba. The story I wanna tell. Uh, you still get open time with us. Yeah. So open time, <laughs> open time you'd see Muzi Masin. Yeah. Playing for the Lions. That's how I used to actually but, play it. Yeah, exactly. But, it's another Mono, name. Umek. Umek. No, Umek. No, no, so no, like, no. No, but actually at SABC, I used on? to call no, myself no, no, Muzi Masina. Yeah. 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 But in rugby, I used to call myself Mac. Mac. Yeah. But yeah. anytime you see, and I swear, I, I swear, I swear it's like, the same thing. Yeah. But like, no, but like the, the ships were so. Yes. Uh, the ships. But I, I, I'm like, no, no I, but it can't be, yeah. My TV on. Yeah. Because open time used to play for like a place, you know. And at that time, then later on, I meet him as a coach. Yeah. And I was like, that's why I say Superman. Yeah. <laughs> you see, you see, so, those we're years, we're MTN, 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 MTN. Uh, they wanted to recruit me. <laughs> but I was like, no. I was, I was very close, actually. I was very close. Yeah. Actually, the money was good then, eh? <laughs> but MTN K data was a huge thing in SA. The white guy, the guy, Mama told me, did it. So, you know, the trick was that, hey, I don't know how I survived because Jesus, bro. I mean, after a flipping fucking hard game on Saturday, I'm bruised and all that stuff. Oh, yes, and then, Sasa Milling vs. Krini. Hey, Ben Wang Nang, I'm my capacity. It's good. I'll pay. I'll pay. She doesn't even fit. You guys know. And then, for some reason, I actually survived. I mean, there was one time where I had a ding in my mouth. You know, one of those nice lips. Yeah. That's the day that I didn't actually work on TV because people they were going to say, what the fuck? You know? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you know, it's, it, 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 it was so nice because, I mean, those years, guys. I didn't have life. It was rugby, work, nang spanet gas. 
mm-hmm. work on my weekends. I wanna long time ago, not too many people understand that he had gas, you know, uh, and Stutter Ford and all those things. This thing of trading at nine o'clock until nine on Friday or six. Mm-hmm. It was not it yakalwahit because I realized but oh, most la long for me class in Friday, starting eleven. In Genesis Pani no six, in Yapuma or nine. Bangale knew any rugby following day on a Saturday. Those days, I mean, you never used to have rugby on a Friday night. So I really just fill up that game. So I never used to have life, eh? But then again, hey guys, I kept myself so much busy, and um, and I'm not regretting because yeah, just, there were a lot of mischief those years. I mean, you know, at at varsity and all that stuff, the things that are happening and all that stuff. So it was it, it, it was it was it was really quite good for me because I mean, after school. Uh, see a trainer, split about six, seven. Mm-hmm. From there, you go to race, you, you mm-hmm. gotta make your meal. Yeah. After making your meal, there's some assignment that you gotta do. The following day, you gotta be in class and all that stuff. So I think they, they, we kept ourselves so busy those years that, I mean, we never really saw the, you know, the, the other part of what's been happening with us. Yes, there were parties that we actually attended and all that stuff, yeah. but we knew. You know, you attend the party, uh, you can't say, hey, I'm doing number five. Also. Jenga Boraga. Boraga yeah. Pella is an, another breed. In Jaya, I'm going to go five, fix it. And then three o'clock, you know, the <laughs> same day, we are trying to game. So, but it was, it was quite nice. I mean, um, and then and this is where, as well, I mean, just going back to, you know, my Vets Tech days is that in I was, we were playing juniors there. But once again, you know, it's just, it, it was used to like, it was repeating itself for me because, um, I was still playing under 21. I mean, those years we were like under 21s. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was a touch judge again, you know, at Vets Tech for, this, for, for, for the first team yeah. because I really wanted to get involved to see what's happening, what makes them tick and all that stuff. Once again, you know, some of uh, a wing actually just got injured right in front of me. And Kheri uh, Khemes mm-hmm. was there. He was like, yes, up. Yeah, you've got a bench set now. Yes, up. Shit fucking scared. Imagine playing against Ram Fontaine. Yeah. <laughs> I've got in there. I mean, I never looked back straight from that day. So, actually, I was robbed a bit playing for the juniors in my life in terms of rugby because I never really tasted that. You know, that junior, you play yeah, under so 21s yeah. for two years, three years. Well, or you become year. the best player for like a good two seasons. Dude, man. Where everybody, yeah, when like, you're always Fla- a young player and senior side. Dude, straight from there, now I was with these senior oaks. You know, I'm a born in Ghana, but we used to get along, da da da, and all that stuff. And then the same thing, even if when uh, uh, the Lions, you know, started obviously noticing me and all that stuff. I mean, I got in there as the fucking young oak. Imagine, dude, I'm like 22. You meet in Kofa's visa. Mm. And then you're training with this guy, you look at him, you think, fuck. You know what I mean? I mean, you can imagine that. And then you're thinking, what the hell? When's I got on? And all of them, they were just woke up really in the start. Nah, just like two, Ian, three Ian years back. Ian McDonald, dude. All of them, they were just... And then you're thinking, like, yo. Yeah. 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 James Dalton, come to your house, I'll tell you about it. James Maud, who's that? I'm going to go to the house. And then you're thinking, hey, they're out there. You know, and I'm thinking, hey, Francois Pinari. You're thinking, oh, you know. Dude, I mean, and... Uh, that's one of the things that um, I really think that if you're looking at rugby as South African you know, and all that stuff, uh, we've lost that transition of, of giving back to the kids in our team. You know, like for instance, you'll find a team now uh, that has got full of youngsters. You know, there's that transfer knowledge of uh, the senior players to the juniors. I don't, I, I don't see it happening a lot. I mean, fuck, imagine if Henny Liru tells us that you are going to run this line, man. Even if I don't want to, I yeah, have to run it. They, yeah. Because either way, fuck, this guy is a World Cup winner, yeah. you know, and he tells me what to do. And he wrote my hand I won't. So I ran those lines and I tried to wouldn't argue, but at the end of the day, I mean, if James Moore is on the outside, if when I was playing center there, if you say, fuck, bring the ball, yep. you will fucking pass him, dude. You know what I mean? There's no two way about it, you know. You can't be dilly telling and all that stuff. If he calls you from there, fucking bring the ball. I've been waiting at the wing. Hmm. You gotta bring it. You know, like stuff like that, you know. So um, I've learned a lot from those guys. And then one thing that I've learned from those World Cup winning, you know, and 95 was that, fuck, they were winners. They were very competitive amongst themselves. They were competing amongst themselves. I mean, they were a team. You could tell that these guys didn't win World Cup just for nothing. All of them had the say. All of them had strong characters. And all of them understood the game. 
but they just needed someone else just to bring in together for them. I, I think Kitch just did a very good job by bringing those guys because all of them, they had good characters. They were striving to be perfect, even those years. I mean, I was quite shocked with it. Man, not necessarily the best players we had in the country. Then, imagine. Yeah. I mean, we but had province just, players yeah, and yeah. all that stuff, but they folks, were just, they were so brutal. Whatever that they used to do. I mean, Bali Swart was there as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, we had a fight. We had a couple of fights with Bali Swart. But, but, but you know what I'm trying to say? So, and some, sometimes for me, it's, 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 it's sad to have a look at these up and young and coming youngsters, but they don't have their, those mentors in their team. Yeah. In their team that Somebody. they played with. Mm, yeah. Someone else that will just grab them and say, okay, no, it's fine, boy. You'll be okay. Do this. Yeah. You do this. Because um, it actually teaches you something. Yeah. I mean, do it like... Way. No. You know what I mean? We'll because remember, those guys have been there, done that. They know exactly what's happening. And then, dude, even if you were so tired, but if James Dalton or James Small can do um, 10, 400 meters and not stopping or not coughing or not cutting. When I, as a youngster, why would you want to fucking sit down and not finish? Mm. So, like, stuff like that. Because, I mean, if you see that, yo, dude, if Franz Apinar can finish, I must finish. Mm. If, 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 if Yapi Milda, you know, you know, can really just beat the bleep test and do whatever, me and I'm a youngster. What's wh stopping you? Exactly. So, I think we've lost that thing a little bit. I think we can even fast track a bit in going a little bit fast now this year or previous say that if you look at the Springbok success, I think Rassi went back to the basics. Hence, they did very well. I mean, Rassi was our year anyway as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he, he, Rassi understands that, you see like now, uh, he will concentrate on the senior players. I mean, he drums whatever that he wants to do on the senior players. Yeah. And then they set example the senior players. So yeah, the youngsters must, must actually follow. Because you don't need to talk to the youngsters. You don't need to make noise from the youngsters and really just push them hard. Because if they see that the likes of, I mean, um, Pete Steph to toy is right up in front. Mm. <laughs> when I, as a youngster, as a flank, you can't be jogging around and think, no, like, no I'm the shit here. You, you know, so I think that was one of the things that I think Rassi really instilled back onto the box and I'm not, I was not even surprised it's to a, see them do well. It's a culture thing. That's the word that I'm looking for. That's the culture. It's this way or no other way. But then again, things are changing left, right and center. So going on in your Transvaal, Transvaal year, then, can yeah. you speak about your curry cup? And I think, if I'm not mistaken, you're one of the first uh, Africans or players uh, yeah. to win the, the curry cup. Then... You had a stint as well, Mercurial, in your next <laughs> book. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, actually, my first Curry Cup game, my first cap that I got, uh, I, I was playing for the Falcons. The Falcons. Ah, it's all the best players. So here's the trick. I was involved with the Lions and all that stuff as a youngster, but I never really got an opportunity. Yeah. And for some reason, um, the Falcons gave them a call and said, okay, fine, um, are you using these guys? No, I'm not using it. Da, 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 da. Then I went in, then I played for them. First game, played against Province. Fuck, I was playing in, they chucked me at wing. Yeah. Guess who? Played against Brayton Falso. <laughs> Baba. I see Teddy in Togo. Long day. Yele dach. Long day. Bosman Stadium. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, after that game, well, they say I had a pretty good game. Yeah, good Immediately after that, I actually played one game from them. Straight from there, the Lions actually pulled me back again. No, no, no. Look on your arm. You. I promise you. Yeah, I promise you. And then, coach. <laughs> and then straight from there I was back with the Lions fuck now I was this guy that wanted to I'm thinking wow you know and that's why I'll never never forget the Falcons you know that province guys they gave me an opportunity and then that game was on TV as well so you can imagine so um, we've, been, we've, been, we've been talking for a while yeah and almost every instance of who you want in every situation even not having you one yeah no man of who you want yeah yeah. How has that helped you, like from the experience with my from SN Jones, 
of your in the line set up. TWF, yeah, TWF, yeah, yeah, yeah. Helped you from go because because what I picked up not before this, mm. I've always known that if you're in the room, yeah, everybody's gonna know that he's yeah, yeah, and yeah, first okay, because you you also did commentary. Yes, I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, it's super sport as well. Yeah. Figi, yeah. O O N and all those guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You did that. Yeah, you, yeah. You did that. So, how has that helped you in your business? Not. Yeah. Like, it's, it's 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 a very you know actually you mentioning something that um, I I I, I think um that 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 is very good actually because I think that thing that you're asking um is something that I grew up with. It's something that I took from the ghetto, the mm -hmm. You know, uh, like I'm saying, typical guy, you always fend for yourself. You know, sometimes, you know, we used to make, you know, those cars, mm -hmm. so I always knew that in order really just to make it out there, fuck what someone is saying, just go on and fucking get your shit. You know, sometimes we can do it as a team. But sometimes you need to just do it all by yourself. So I think it's something that I grew up with. Uh, as a fact, if you do it, if you really want to do something, go out, do it yourself, push yourself, and no one else can push it for you. So it really helped me a lot. So you always think you mentioned it, uh, other you. And I feel like I'm a coach on the Africans. Yeah, I'm going to to get that. Uh, and you know what I'm trying to say? Imagine it like this, and don't speak when you're thinking, hey, this is not my life. I'm thinking I'm fucked this shit, you know, fuck everyone else. I'll do whatever I want to do. Um, there were other incidents as well where I went in and coached uh, just university. Did me as a coach there. Call me and said, come in, let's work together. I was his assistant there. Fuck. But the environment works. You know, you, you realize that, hey, and there is where I realized that, you know, actually, this rugby thing, you know, it's something else. I mean, you, you feel as if you're not welcome. And you have to prove yourself to all these Africans like you, and you're a black coach. You're trying to tell them what to do. So it was quite hard. But then again, it helps a lot of us to know your shit. You know, to start some few things, you know, to get your head up straight, to be confident, to deliver what you're supposed to deliver, da, 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 and all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, I think that's something that, you know, some of the answers that I see now that I really think that they're lacking. Because sometimes you see great players, and then you see that they're this guy with Cope Bob. But then he doesn't have that thing where everyone is in the to go and do it. I said, man, it's something dope, you know. My son sleeps the whole day, but I don't think he can. Who let him sleep in there? I said, who gives me a sign all day? You know, I mean, things have changed all the time. And I mean, those years, I mean, we, 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 we always just go out and try and see if we can do stuff. But it doesn't matter what it was. That's why I was working for quite a few jobs. I was still training, I was playing rugby. I mean, what was it? Doing TV shows, all the time, dancing on the beach, all those things. But then I don't want to go there, it's not a party. Ha, 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 Steam up for me and find something for me. But straight after that, it's in the garden. 
And then you asked me, he said, like, hey, I don't drink this fucking weed shit. Yeah. It's not even straight. Yeah. Yeah. So, man, I had to do it. 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 I'm not allowed to understand the culture. Like, even if I'm not a drinker, but if we are in the deaf community, you know, and the deaf folks are not cheap, how we are, we really want to. Yeah. So I want to move on. So you're playing with it. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. uh, 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 yeah, I was with the Lions. Uh, yeah, I was my staff and I was with the Lions. Fuck. They were just like young and. I mean, Lenny used to play center as well, so I was like in and out of a lot of stuff. And then, um, Uta Tukumela, I think Uta Tukumela, he's still around, he was a coach then. Yes. No, before what you started, I want to do all that stuff. The sun is on the left. Yeah, it's the Tukumela kid, that is playing sevens. I'm his dad, actually. His dad used to be the sevens, you know, spring of sevens, college. And then, obviously, I got called there. This is where I met the likes of Coach now. Coach was in our team. Just with my soul. What is your idea? That's your idea. I mean, um, um, who else was there? Um, no, breakfast all came in great days. Like, they were like the youngsters. And then, so, um, shoot, you are calling Fia. Do you guys know what I mean? What is your calling Fia? Who it was? was our team. It was in our team. Strong as you. We used to play for the Bulls. You want to see what I'm doing? Yes. Um, it's a Bulls uh, win. Very strong, and um, just I was not in our team there. He actually came in late. Uh, Bobby Skinstep was a yeah. youngster coming in. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Force was in our team yeah. before he was in our team. Yeah, all those old guys. But then, you know, the beginning of the fight part then, um, it started with, uh, you know, the set of Arabian centers. Yeah. It actually started in France because uh, actually the French nation did very well because they used to be a tournament once a year. That used to be played uh, in, 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 in France or the Fijis, all these nations. And then obviously, one of the sponsors was Kerala to just to take it over. Once again, it was a great experience for me. And one thing that I like about the is that uh, you come back from there, you come back, you know, you, 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 you have played 15, you fuck your shit, you think you're faster, you know, you're more focused, and then, you know, you, you're just all over the show. I mean, you, you come in there, you think, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, Yeah. 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 Where they made it official. Uh, actually, we were the first Spring of Sevens now that they were in the contract in South Africa. We fought politics. Shit, that's another one. Damn. Tobani was the Tobani is a kid, man. I'll tell you about Tobani. Tobani, when he came back from the mountains, when he came to Joburg. No, he wasn't there. No, he wasn't there. No. Oh, yeah, when he came to Joburg. Yes. You know, and all that stuff. So that's the reason that I'm saying that people don't understand that rugby people with balls. I mean, I don't think they have balls. So I knew that it's right. I knew that the right. practice never had a sustain. You know, I had a fucking house that I used to call the future. Well, then it was already you know, that I was given as a senior guy, uh, maybe not before. So now I know I'm coming in. You know, we could get together on the team, all these people, yeah. yeah. So um, very, very focused on that. You know, in his own way. Controversial, but in his own right way. And in his way, it works. If you know Tobani, you will understand it. You know, it's all his own issues, but it works. You know? And then it actually challenged me because I was a very traditional guy who is focused, oh, yeah. who doesn't want to mess up. I'm seeing this guy, and I was like, why? Well, he's still doing what he wanted to do. So he's like, okay. Man, son, this is possible. Yeah, that's what I think. So it was so good. Sometimes as a senior guy, I go mouthful to meet all the other guys. Temporary, I'm very, 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 I
Ja, dat weet ik niet. Oh, oké, okay, dat is goed. Uh, ja, dat is een mooie plaats. Hoe ik zit hier in het Sahara, nu ik hier in de Jaren in Sahara heb. Zo niet, dus ga ik het even weten, ik ga het even weten. Perfect. Zo, transition, play base, yeah. en kom eens direct af en terug in. Af en toe al. You get into your management slash coaching. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember when it was one time, just a few years ago, you were management. Yeah, yeah. Slash coach. Yeah. And how did that start? How? Oh. My coaching career is very simple. Uh, it's, 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 it started after I got injured instead of being done. Uh, that time, Chester was a coach. Okay. You know, uh, three, four years back then, we were playing together in the same team together. Okay. And a couple of years then, we were playing together at the Cats with the Lions and we were doing it. So, we had a relationship, okay? Yeah. You know, I'm trying to say. So, uh, after I got injured, obviously, you know, I had to, you know, do a bit of something. Uh, that time I was playing for Brisbane University. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Um, that time I was actually playing for Brits and uh, but, but then again, even if you were with the Lions, you were playing for Brits in the Mid You used to come in there, but if you had played three, four games for the Mayor, it was a big deal because we were very busy. And then one of the Indians, I kept on going back to the club, you go back to the club, because you have snapped my heels, you know, you're too busy. So, I went back to the club just to, you know, obviously it was some rapid that I wanted to do the rapid guys. And then with that, this is the day. So I've got a lot of yeah. And uh, this is, it's, you're right. I think mm-hmm. that's, uh, that's real. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. yeah. That's a good reason. Yeah. 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 So, so the story is like, he has a guy who listen, just listen. Yeah. Me. You don't have to be the greatest coach around. Yeah. But in the, in the, you know, he has a, he has a huge degree of kids. Do it the way you want to listen. Say sorry to them. Yeah. Just listen to them. Just listen to them. Know what to do. Pass on the message if you listen to that from the senior class to the senior class. I don't know. Why is it not asking? Why is it not asking? Who challenges? Okay. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. I don't know. It looks like you. Why don't you know you guys have lost some of our kids? If we can raise the interest, we can just touch on it. Oh, we don't miss this one. All right. Okay. You can miss this one. <laughs> And then you can see where it ties up. I I was a Yes. I was a I was a was a I was a was a I was I was a I was a I was a I was a I was I was a I was I was a I was I I this is the temporary I'm trying to say. So, uh, yeah. just to go a little bit with the sporting thing, so that is a uh, just kind of get involved. And, uh, and this is that kind This was at first, and then, and then obviously the doctor, when they tell you that you're going to go out all the way, and you're like, ah, you know, what are you doing? What are you going to do? And lucky that there was a really smart guy who was doing the really something. He's a New Zealand. You know, still coaching me, he's a New Zealand. And, um, and then I was scoring the ball just the first time. And once again, I played in love with it. It was, I realized that Jesus, there's a gap again, you know, to do the right thing for the, 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 the kids and all that stuff. Luckily, in that back of the Vince was playing in the side for two weeks. And we managed to do the, you know, yeah. the lead to the side to make a challenge. It was a fucking big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. Come on, you go. I'm telling you. No, no, no. Which one? You know that the video I think Leon Smith and Charlie, the first guy that had some character. The first guy to have some character. So, you know, yeah, you know, after this, um, you know, I think there was a big need as well, just to get back to Soweto Rugby, and I thought, well, that's it. But I then, um, I went to Soweto, this is where I met up with Jacob. Jacob, I used to know Jacob. I mean, she introduced me to his other dad. No, 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 I must say, yeah, if I can do that. But then again, there was a need there because, I mean, 
So yeah, after that, obviously, um, I left um, once again. Um, tried to really do some business those years. It was okay and all that stuff. I was paying the bills, but things still had some rugby money there. So I was basically using all that stuff. And then it's just getting all the paper. Hey, listen, dude, I got this job at the Pimas. You know, you want to put it? Fuck, I didn't have to pay you guys because I always thought that I'm going to pick and pick rugby, but I can't say no to fucking pick rugby. I can't do that for the job. You know, I'm doing this. Anyway, see me tomorrow. Tomorrow, the fucking day I was there, making a meeting with the players. And then that was it, you know. I stayed there for like two years or so until he left, then I left, and all that stuff. And I came here. I did a little some business as well. And this is where I got picked up by Pips, you know, picked me up for me, and then we went in there for a big round, coached there for two years. That's where I made money stay. I tell you, I got an opportunity to work with money stay at 10. Yeah, there's a kid, totally different player than now. Money Stain was a loose cannon those years, you know. Never used to kick, did not kick. So the skipping game and all that stuff, and something went to the top of the as well. He was a top player, and I fucked up, that's it. Like, no, no. Like, talk, but anyway, obviously, him being with the balls that are out, and holding and changing, and all that stuff. Yeah, and you know, and then, Obviously, you know, with me just trying to hustle, we did some business there. Um, I decided just to leave my cushy job in the helping in the office work and all that stuff. You know, yeah, at, uh, at the studio. Yeah, so I worked there, I had a project that I was running nationally. After it was done, compared to I saw that it was fucking running, it was fucking continuing. Yeah, so I was like, I must go look for something. I went to the room, I got back to the room, you know, I did some farming in the room, I started farming, I understand farming, I got to the room. I got there, while I was there, drinking coffee in the room, it's a very small place. Hey, you got your cookie, what's the cake? They bumped into me, having coffee, I like my cappuccino. They started asking me to see all the rugby guys there, you know. All of a sudden, the news were like, spread like fire. Oh, I'm really busy now. What do you get? What do you get? I'm not going to do some little gender thing, you know, why I'm not going to do I'm not saying it's what I should have done without tea bags. You know, yeah, I see Bobby J. Isn't this the baby case? Sorry, I'm not going to get out of here. She's not going to get out of here. So when I thought they always did, all of a sudden, you know, it's getting all the day, but I was like, nah, I'm trying to push the dollar thing and all that stuff. Once again, the following year, I was like, okay, fine. I'm not going to go. I got in there, and then, I mean, one of the things as well that I was um, trying to understand as well, like me and free stuff, I needed to understand their culture as well. You know, for me, the Buddha, you know, the half of this, the right thing, whatever, whatever you call it, you know, there's a the, the, the city there, and then there's a the clay, clay going and all that stuff. And, and I just started to understand the whole dynamics. But look, at the end of the day, um, rugby is running the game. But guys, the amount of bonds, the connection that those guys have with me from there, it's just amazing. You know, from the school, you know, to the universities and all that stuff. I mean, look, I mean, I quite enjoyed it because I got involved in UJ at the Boston Lego, and I got involved with the Turks at Boston and Lego. That's a different university in the East of the world. Cheese, man, it was so nice. I was able to get to the mindset of the players that are doing okay, plus the players that I've worked with, you know, what makes them tick and all that stuff. I think it was quite nice. Until I obviously, yeah, I couldn't stay long enough because of what happened to my family and my mother because I'm actually fucking coming back to Joburg. Well, coming back to Joburg again, once again, you know what I mean? I'm saying now, just gotta stay away for a few months and then you will just quit. You can't. You know what I mean? John was like, no, you want to have the answer, you want to come and keep yourself. I was like, yeah, fuck, what do you want? Then once again, I'm fucking writing that in the It's fighting me again, it's pushing me back there. And then here I am, you know what I'm saying? After a stressful day, you know, I was coming in the afternoon and distressed. 
but it seems as if things have just changed and they have all that stuff. Yeah. It's a good You're angry, right? No, no that's really easy. It's a question. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it's very important that, I mean, it's, 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 like, once again, I mean, Rata was 18, I was 26, and there we go. And, um, and some of the bad behavior of kids, you can see that, you know, these guys are going to go somewhere. But there's something that is making it. Some of them, they don't even understand that as a kid, they need to be to handle it. You know, some of them, they don't understand what they know is a no. It's really simple, you know. I mean, sometimes even when someone says, no, you can't do this, it's like, uh, so now it's it's more of us trying to explain why the same thing instead of the same thing. But then again, we have a challenge as well because things things have changed. And sometimes, I mean, brother, I know he doesn't take shit. This guy's game, he chucks them away, he tells them to fuck off. I always say, come on, you don't get those one step forward. It actually stresses him more than me because he doesn't want to listen to them. That's his way because you know. He's he's an old school but he never really, you know, get to understand these kids because he knows the right way. But sometimes when things have changed, you get through these guys. Yes. You know, you just gotta listen to them, it's okay, fine. Okay, yeah, all right, okay, cool. So what do you think is the best option? You know, ninety nine point nine percent, if they don't know what you're gonna tell you, if they don't know what to say I'll tell you. That's what it's about. This fucking kid doesn't know shit. This is where you gotta cut him down into pieces. Da, 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 da. And start just building it again. And you'll be surprised, uh, you know, what you can get out of them. So, I mean, there's ways and thinking of dealing with these kids. You get the whole ones, the ones that you find in the you know, they bring products to the end. But uh, sometimes the ones that really are full shit, those are the ones that are actually becoming very good players. Mm -hmm. So, the question is that now, how are we going to reach it now as the coaches? We, we, we know that. But we've got about five of your players that are so fucking hard that they, 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 they don't say so much. You still gotta work with it because you really just need an opportunity. It's worth taking it because once you chuck those white guys, you're gonna be left with nothing. You know what I mean? So I, I think there's a, that's a challenge that we should have at the UK. And then once again, I mean, the kids that we get now, you don't get them from the traditional rugby playing school. You get a guy from fucking Saints, so, you know? I mean, the guy at Saints, when you tell him what to do, all he needs to do, he needs to fucking call him because he's his dad. Is there to fucking call it to you? What did you do to my son? Because it's, it's their cult. You know, hence I always tell my guys, boys, what happens if the team doesn't try to stay in the team? If we fight here, if the guys fight here with the team, or we lose it here, or we lose here, it needs to stay in the team. At least I have to tell you what I've You need me you now, there's social media, there's social media, you need me to take me. <laughs> you know, just to tell you a simple story, you know, about these kids, um, some of them are fucking lying, eh? They'll tell you, no, this, this, they are sick and all that stuff. All you need to do is just need to go to the social media. Oh, fuck, they were drinking last night. All of them were players, you see them. They were dancing, the Kodiyas, the following day, a few of them, they come and say something, oh, it's these writings. But that's the shit that we actually didn't want to do. Because remember how, um, I'm going to get back to where you guys, you know, might have lost it. That's my personal view is that you guys can be, you know, a lot of you guys, you were better players than us. You were more than players, you knew what you were doing and all that stuff. But personally, I feel as if the attitude actually killed you, that's one. Because you guys didn't have this fucking uh, trouble in the mind shape, you know? And then you guys knew your rights, and all you know, I fuck this one, I'm going to stand on the TV. You know what I'm trying to say? And then the other thing, no one wants to tell you if you put money, it's not a bunch of time. We uh, went through this, it's okay. Coach will drop him, they'll play the whole time. But very soon that got guy will get away and they'll get a chance. So you guys, there's a thing that I always tell the players, you need to have a TA classification in you. You guys need it to want you to be successful now. Now! Now! If not, fuck it. I'm gonna give you this rugby, and then there's boosts, there's alcohol, there's journeys, you dream all your class because you all want to win team. You guys were smart, you were fast in your class. Do you know we didn't have a choice of it? You know, you should not do it for You know, I'm talking about the passing man. Hey, you know, what was the passing man? Passing man probably 40% of the 21. Yeah, you know? And then you just went through. I mean, that's, 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 that's. personally, that's when I felt that a lot of you guys would miss a lot of the players 
because um, you know uh, you came with a different mind, which was the knowledge. But um, you needed to understand the environment of writing. I'm very young that you understand how this shit works. And it hasn't changed. <laughs> it hasn't changed. But the beginning is just one of those things was this into a few. I mean, I mean, ask rather, I'm going to try to cut the beat, but I'll draw. Let's do anything that makes it fuck this sort of thing. Ask him. You know? Fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. You know, if he's up here, what should we use the encounter? There's a lot of those players, there's plenty of them. A lot of these homes. Especially the times when he's in bed. I mean, um, I think personally that's where we've lost a lot of you guys. Not to say that you guys are boys, not to say that you guys uh, you know, like boost, because you guys are late. You know, when you were here, obviously every rugby player had one or two players, that's quite nice. But then once they started letting you, they call you by name, some talk on the dial, and then you kind of say, no, fuck you guys, no, 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 no. And then I really felt as if uh, your, your, your parents structure as well. Um, yes, they like the sport, but fuck, as long as you pass the heavy, yeah. As long as you get to be the heavy. So, you know, you can trust, you know, you can't get right. The only way out here is to watch is to fucking play sport. And, but you guys are like, I play sport, I like it, yeah, it's nice, it's fun, and all that stuff. But hey, I don't want to fucking play and play and shit, you know what I mean? It's coming, it's coming, it's not, yeah. So that's where I felt all of you, like, my brothers, lost the plot. Not to say that they were great guys, it was just a different grief that came, uh, that needed to be guided in a nice way, or, or understand the thing, but you didn't. So you didn't you know, do that, trust me. It's, 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 <laughs> Don't kill yourself, folks. I kill yourself. That's another thing. Very thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, actually, when you when you when you when you send the WhatsApp, it's like, hey, what? Oh, hey, you did that to me. What is that? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. And, and so we do. Yeah. I know it's not so easy. Yeah. I know that you're not so rich. Yeah. I, no, 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 never mind that. It's just a bit sick. It has a good thing. Mm-hmm. Or even on top of that, it's not so rich. Yeah. See, I know that's not what's the case. So it's all about what's the way you do it. Mm-hmm. Do it. Do it. Do it. No. <laughs> but like, there's, there's, there's really been a lot of mm-hmm. great guys that have come in, including yourself, all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yes, you know, 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 and he told you the fuck. Yeah. Okay, you know the guy is genius. Yeah. 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 Once, I mean, you mentioned a couple of times, right? Once you just had that bite of like, no, no. I mean, we sit now, we watch the pops, we watch this, we compare, we try to, you know, see what's happening. Now we try to see, you know, who's going to be the first game, the house and the pitch is fine. It's a tough one, right? I mean, what captain needs to be playing, how was it going to be changed now? Was it the doctor of the wild, what do you do, a team, and what is it that? So, that's not for life. You see, they think, okay, this is good, that's not bad. And I think that um, it's not a bad thing you have to be open for it. Yo, it's not a bad thing. It's also expensive because you get the message closer to the bad thing. Yeah. 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 It was the spider race that was the green water. Yeah. Dark was the point of the closure of the water. Same. Yeah. Same thing, yeah. right? Same thing. So now the rest of the message is direct. No, why not? Anyway. Yeah, so yeah, with a piece of great, you know, so that um, with this, uh, you know, the pandemic and all this stuff, right now, I mean, it's, it's um, how long? It's about two weeks now, we haven't done it, but we're fucking just waiting for it. Now it forces me to be a little part of it. 
you know, exchange and then it's not because of the and but I that's not how I would like to be the house but I would talk about the fact that it's it's, it's intact I mean, if of course I can extend it out there. We need to be out there. We really gotta be out there, especially us I mean, uh, we have to be out there because it's we are we're gonna force it. So how many posts do you have? It's tough, folks. It's I'm not even that old baby. 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 Oh, my God. 